Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James, and in this video, let's go over Fear the Walking Dead Season 8, Episode 8. Spoiler alert if you're not caught up. So I'll say at the start, several of you guys have messaged me already about the episode and said you liked it, thought it was a good one. Can't believe there was a good episode um, that came out of all of this. And I'll go ahead and say my opinion is opposite. I guess I'm not in the same boat with most of you guys or many of you guys that did enjoy the episode, and I'm glad you did. That's awesome. I didn't as much. I'll try to stick to the story. I will point out a few little things that bothered me, but one thing, and I've said it before, if there's ever a zombie apocalypse and you have to choose a weapon, this isn't the one for you. This isn't the one for me. This isn't the one for anybody, really, especially a lady with a breathing problem. Hey, you know, I get tired really fast and I can barely go, but I'm going to choose this big ass sledgehammer with after just a couple of swings, I'm dead ass tired. She would do better with a pipe or something lighter, you know, in her condition. But this story brings Luciana back into the episode. We get Charlie as well, but she reunites with Daniel, sees that Madison's still alive. A lot of stuff has happened. Nick, she's went and you know, got Nick, that stuff happened in the story. But Luciana, the stuff that she's done, still making gasoline, was making gasoline for Padre. She's still doing that thing they were doing, you know, uh, take if you need whatever kind of stuff. She has these little stores set up. She said possibly all the way to Arizona. Is that what she said in the show? I didn't even go back to check for sure. But she's got a long route and a lot of people and seemingly... She's helping people still. How that still can work out or is working out is a big question to me, but whatever. Luciana's got it going on, it seems like. And yeah, she messed up even getting back in the vicinity of Madison. You know, Madison just destroys everything. Uh, the thing Daniel said at the end, I can't wait to get to that part. It was the only part of the show I really liked, but I was actually waiting for that moment and got it. So that's that's a good thing. And I'll have to say, one of the fans that usually says they hate the show, it sucks, the showrunners suck and all that, and usually agrees with me and my usual opinion of the show, said they really liked this episode. They thought it had some heartfelt moments like the Charlie stuff. I just didn't feel anything, but I can understand. But what's hard for me to really understand is why they even allowed that to happen. Luciana's like Charlie's helped me build up this big thing I have, and I'm just going to let her walk into the bad guy's place and, and try to take him out. I understand, hey, Madison, she's the mom, everybody like Nick, nobody likes Charlie anyway, it seems like. I, w I never really had such a problem with Charlie. A lot of you guys said evil, crazy, bad shit in the comments about her. But for Madison to do that, well, you just go kill the bad guy then, and, and then maybe you'll be redeemed. And Luciana going, okay, you know, that sounds like a decent plan if Charlie's okay with it. All of that just seemed a little far-fetched to me as far as realism. So I guess Luciana digging up Nick and cremating him and having his ashes there to be able to give to Madison, maybe that will lead to something. But it seemed like Luciana just gave him away after digging him up saying oh i missed him so much i didn't realize how much i missed him till i was standing over his grave so i dug him up and i cremated him put him in this little can i just happened to have him here with me here you go madison now that i know you're alive you probably want him more than i do here's your son to me that was just all kind of weird but whatever but they're at the radio and they find out oh troy just captured charlie before she could do anything that she was going to do at all I guess she did rig the truck to explode, thinking she was going to get it all the way into uh, the hotel, the place uh, Strand had, that Troy is now at, which is a really nice place, it seems like, actually. So the Charlie storyline was a little crazy to me, but she ended up committing suicide so Madison wouldn't tell the location of Padre. That's very formidable. Um, Charlie has stepped up several times through the season since she's killed Nick. She stepped up at this point saying, I can't let you do that. And she took control of the situation. Like she said, I do have a choice in it. And she shot herself. I would have maybe tried to shoot the other Troy guard that was in the room with her uh, before shooting myself or let him shoot me. And so it's not as much like suicide, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, it all went down. Charlie commits suicide, which is very sad as far as now Madison doesn't have to tell Troy where Padre is. 
And that's another thing, you know, uh, the position that they left us with everybody pointing guns at everybody and then uh, fighting around the walkers around the uh, exploded truck and stuff like that, how they got Charlie's body back. It seemed like it was a lot of tension pulling Madison away, Strand was. You know, where did, I guess, Luciana and Daniel had went off to get uh, Charlie's body while all this commotion was going on. But in all of that commotion, we do find out that, yes, the kidnapped kid we see in the promo that Madison and Daniel have, which somehow, even though they got mad at each other at the end of this episode and departed ways, we see them in a promo with that captured kid, the little girl, which is Troy's little girl. We see that happening, so they get back together somehow. But we do find out Troy has a daughter, and it's by the lady who saved him at the dam, and Troy blames Madison for her death. We don't know that story yet, so there's a little uh, we can theorize about that. But it's probably happened before. I've probably talked about it before, but Madison being the catalyst, kind of the one that everywhere she goes, it's just shit, shit, shit happens. Uh, Communities are destroyed. People die, and it's more a Madison thing then really anything. Would Troy have done what he did without Madison coming in and kind of disrupting stuff? Maybe, you know, maybe uh, Taka and, and his group would have attacked and eventually maybe sent a herd in and the same thing happened, just a different way. But with everything, Madison just seems like, yeah, things just kind of go to shit around her. And so when the truck first pulled up with Daniel in the back and they showed that they had Charlie's body there, I was like, man, Daniel just should pull a pistol and put a bullet in Madison's head. I mean, I bet that's how he's feeling, man. I wonder what he's going to do. And I was so wanting a scene like they actually gave us. So I was like, oh, my God, they actually gave me something I liked. But what he said to her was perfect as far as the truth. And Strand, too. Like, Strand, you're in with it. Like, if Daniel put a bullet in both their heads right then, man... That would have probably saved a lot more lives coming in the future. But we'll see how this uh, series plays out. There's only a few more episodes. Madison seemingly went off on her own. We know she gets with Daniel at some point. I don't know how Strand plays into it all in the future. We know that Sherry and June and uh, Dwight and, you know, all these people come back together, uh, face Troy. We see that uh, coming as far as in some promos and stuff like that. So there's still a lot to play out. I think Troy finds Padre. He uh, sends a herd that way. You know, does Padre get destroyed? Is that even a possibility? And nobody gets it? Does Troy end up living and actually, oh, we give him a second chance like we do everybody. And Daniel will be okay with that. And Madison will be okay with that. And that kind of stuff. How will it all play out? There's a lot of questions. This episode, it revealed a lot. You know, it told us that Troy was the one cutting the arms off of the a lot of the walkers and putting them out there as a distraction. So that raises other questions as far as Alicia's fate. So that big question, what happened to Alicia, that I think is one of the bigger questions of these last few episodes, that's still out there. Uh, Troy's daughter, that's interesting. How will it all play out, though? You know, Daniel also said that his army's going to stay behind. He's going with Luciana. Maybe they'll follow Madison. Good luck with that, Madison. We'll see how all that plays out. There's a lot of things, loose threads happening. So, hey, I'm excited to hear your guys' thoughts on it down in the comments below. And you know I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more dead stuff.